as a kid. Here at Kids on Curry Time, we have basically read it all. You have probably read a great deal yourself. Yeah, we read about baby's first steps, baby's first words, baby's first haircut, first party session, but never before have we read a book about baby's first bank heist. I am not sure that this is a good idea. Me neither, but why then does this look so good? I have to admit, this book looks very interesting. It does look very interesting. I, the storyteller, am also intrigued by Baby's first bank heist. Maybe because I never had my own first bank heist. But maybe we will live through this with Baby Frank. This is little Baby Frank right here in the very opening pages. And there he is eyeballing the bank for the heist, which I don't know why he wants to commit, but we will find out. Meanwhile, everybody around has no idea of the nefarious plans inside the baby's head. Look, this guy's just walking around listening to his music, and, and this one's talking on the phone, and this little kid's just texting, and this lady's bringing home her groceries, and she's going to the bank not knowing that it's going to be robbed. And this fellow here, he is texting and t walking his dog this guy over here playing the guitar this one's getting his fitness on this lady's just minding her business having fabulous hair day let's see what is about to unfold on a seemingly normal afternoon baby frank loved animals and yet he could not get his mom and his dad to understand how much he would like a pet Oh, oops, that's not your pet, kid. Hey, it didn't matter what it was, a dog, a cat, a rabbit. If Frank saw fur while out on walks, he'd lunge and try to grab it. Oh, no, no, you can't just lunge and grab at people's animals. I mean, what if the animal bites or is, well, just, you know, buddy likes just being unexpectedly grabbed, you know? Well, and though each night at story time, young Frank would always choose books involving birds and beasts from ducks to kangaroos. Look, they're doing their own kid time story time right there. His parents would not change their minds. Ooh, they're stubborn. His mom said, you're not ready. And they cost too much, said dad. Be happy with your teddy. And there's teddy. But I feel like he's not very happy with his teddy. Oh, let's see. He's got a book here that seems to be featuring Gilles the giraffe. And he's um, got some sort of a bird book here. And Frank tried to think of all the ways a pet could be attained. Look at him. Eyes wide awake, staring up at the ceiling, thinking, thinking, thinking. He was sure that he could steal one. But the problem still remained of how he was supposed to find the money he would need to buy his newfound furry friend its bedding, bowl, and feed. See, he's already thinking ahead. Oh wait, he's thinking about stealing. But I mean, putting that aside, he is thinking that he needs to house and, and, and feed this, this animal. I mean, that is part of the responsibility. You don't just get a pet to pet it. So well, let's see, do we have everything in there? Yes, we see everything there shopping with his mom one day the answer ding came to frank there really is no other choice i'll have to rob a bank <gasps> with mom stuck waiting in a line he knew the time was right so frank put on a bandit mask and whoosh, disappeared from sight let's see she's distracted she's looking at her phone probably reading the news or doing a crossword puzzle not realizing oh <gasps> Look at that. <laughs> Past every camera, gate, and guard, the baby crawled unseen. There were no bars or laser beams he couldn't fit between. Ah, but look, the sign says no robbers behind beyond this point. But is he looking at it? No. Can he even read? Probably not. So he's going to the cash. Can he read that sign? Probably not. But he knows that that. It's probably where it is, behind the big door of the safe. Quick as a flash, he found the vault and scooped up all the loot. He swiftly stuffed the bills and coins inside his onesie suit. Oh yeah, look at that. It's like he just had a whole lot of formula. Then back to mom, he scampered and sat down without a fuss. Nobody tried to stop him as he went home on the bus. Nobody paid attention to the extra fat baby. Mom's not even noticing. Mom, you are so distracted with your phone. Oh, look, ironically, the bus 
where he's making his getaway is featuring an upcoming film coming into theaters in September called The Getaway. Irony? Coincidence? I think not. Late that night, Frank crept downstairs and turned on the computer. He started searching animals to check with which ones were cuter. Oh, that was good. That was good. He knew he wanted something small, but not a boring mouse. And so it was that Frank received a meerkat at his house. A meerkat? Interesting choice. I mean, like not the typical pet at all. Maybe he was watching too many National Geographic specials. He snuck his pet up to his room and kept it out of sight. He practiced looking after her to show he'd do it right. The meerkat was a great success and little Frank adored it. But, oh, pretty soon he wanted more. Why not? He could afford it. Hmm. How much money did he take? First the dog and then a pig, two aardvarks and a cat were smuggled up into his room. He should have stopped at that. I mean, as it is, they, he barely has them tucked away, He's telling them to be shh, quiet. There's dad brushing his teeth. Don't stir, just pretend you are stuffed animals. There were leopards in his cupboards and a beaver in the bath. And Frank was really struggling to hide his new giraffe. Oh boy. And mom's on, uh, mom's on her phone. See, that is Frank's salvation. That mom is really loving her new phone and doesn't realize that behind the laundry and burrowed somewhat in the tree is the giraffe. And there's a, there's the, is that a fox up there? And there's, and there's a leopard. I think it's like in the attic right now. And there's an elephant trunk and there's, oh, there's the beaver in the bath. And there's something up in the cupboard. Uh, is that, is that, what is that up in the cupboard? I can't even see. Oh, there's a monkey uh, naturally taking a banana. And they believe there's a snake there. And there's a, the meerkat is hanging out out here. And there's the leopards in the closet. How did not eat, how did it not eat the bird? Okay. Well, they've all got an arrangement there. I guess they're all adopted siblings. It all went wrong one afternoon when mom called out and said, don't be alarmed, but I just found a rhino in our shed. Oh yeah, the rhino. That was the dead giveaway. You knew that he'd just gone too far, but did he stop himself? Nope. Kid, you should have stopped while you were ahead. And now everything's gonna come to light. It took some detective work to find out Frank's deceit, a stack of bills, a bandit mask, and piles of named receipts. Oh, there it is. The evidence, the mask, the money. <gasps> Mom showed her clues to dad and said it was her firm belief. Her baby wanted pets so much, he's turned into a thief. And look at him, trying to do his best to look innocent. But you know, and I know, and it's on the news. Look at that. Look at that. Can you see that? It is on the news. Mystery robber. There's footage because there were cameras and look, look at that. Oh boy. He's been caught <clears throat> green handed. Once Frank could see how sad they were, he quickly understood that stealing things was very wrong. From now on, he'd be good. Frank's parents took him to the bank and told them of the theft. The bank asked for their money, but there wasn't any left. I mean, would you take animals in lieu of cash bank? Huh? I guessing not. The family went home to their pets and wondered what to do until at last dad had a thought. Oh, what is it? Let's open up a zoo. Oh, that is brilliant. Frank's zoo. Look at that. There's a gorilla and the flamingos are on the roof as is that, that puffin, I think. And there's the elephant and there's the giraffe being fed. And there's a crab and a rabbit. And a, well, let's just say every room has something to offer. And look at that. They're lining up around the block. And oh, there's the penguins in the front. I, who does not love a penguin exhibit? And there's the monkeys in the trees and there's the big turtle. And, oh, wait, in the back, there's the, the camel and uh, the lion. No, excuse me, the tiger and the, um, that thing. Yeah, that thing, that, that popular thing. I see the name always at the zoo, never remember. 
Uh, by selling tickets at the door, they soon began to save. Frank tried his best to lend a hand and show he could behave. He served his time without a doubt, and though still on all fours, it didn't stop him cleaning up and even leading tours. Hey, mom, look at that thing. Oh, I, I want my own zoo, dad. No, sir, you cannot have your own zoo. At night, he'd lie down with his pets and gaze up at the stars. Baby Frank had got his way. He was happy behind bars. <sniffs> but not like jail bars. This was like zoo bars, you know, which is okay. Better than, than jail bars. Maybe he'll be a future zoologist instead of a, of a future thief, I'm thinking, you know. Did you enjoy Baby's First Bank Heist? Very interesting. And I like how he turned it into a business opportunity. Yeah, yeah. And he made money so that he could have all those animals. Yeah, it is almost as busy in his house as it is around here. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. That's true. It's almost, almost as busy, but not as busy. Is it sorry, Tyler? No, oh, it's, a, I think it's even a little busier around here. I mean, we have a giraffe. Yes. And, and we have an ostrich. Oh, yeah. Uh, and also all your bear brothers and your abuela bear. Yeah, yeah, we have bears, we have monkey, we have unicorn, we have a witch. Oh, yeah, yeah, and she's kind of an animal. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, she's really definitely like an animal. And we have an owl. I mean, oh, we should make a list of everybody. Oh, that's a good idea. Let's go do that. All right, well, anyway, maybe we should charge entrance and let people come in and, and, and spend time with us. No, no, here at Kid Time Story Time, entrance remains entirely free. Zero dollars. Fine, fine, fine. That's nice too. Okay, kid. See you next time on Kids on Showtime because we're free and stuff. Bye. Bye.